I think a lot of the focus uh, in the last few days has been on women and girls' data. And a lot of new commitments have been made towards closing that gender data gap. Is that exciting to you from an education perspective? And, and how might that help you in your work? Uh, yeah, it is the focus on data. I know it sound, kind of sounds odd and maybe many people watching would think, why would anybody get that excited about data? Uh, but in the education world, we are moving uh, with the sustainable development goals from the old sort of framework of it's about access, you know, build schools, they will come, the children will be there, job done. Uh, that was the framework for the MDGs and what we know from the Millennium Development Goal period is children come to school and they simply don't learn because the quality is so poor. And we're now needing to make sure that we're expanding access more than just primary school, but lifting quality. So this is a new information and data journey for many developing country partners. Uh, and to have people focused on that, on how we can better roll out learning quality measurements and use them in a feedback loop to keep improving what's happening in classrooms. It's really exciting and very important. I also wanted to talk to you since we're here at Women Deliver, there's so many different topics being discussed. Um, of course, there's also a focus on global health um, aside education, and they're so interconnected. You know, stopping epidemics like AIDS is so interconnected with you know educating uh, women and girls about, about the, the health effects and, and, and avoiding AIDS. Um, are, are those two communities speaking enough, do you think? Are they working closely together, that those fighting for you know, improved education and those fighting for improved global health? Is there, is there a, you know, that cross-sector collaboration that you'd want to see there? Increasingly there is. Uh, we, uh, the Global Partnership, together with the Global Fund, uh, had an event here at Women Deliver. It's the third we've had in a series, so we've been at this for some time. And we're trying to find some better ways of working together to particularly focus on the education of adolescent girls uh, because the evidence is very clear. If a girl stays in school, she is less likely to contract HIV AIDS. Now, all of this is relatively new. The strength of the data has only been comparatively recent. Uh, there are things we have done very successfully. I mean, when children are in school, uh, things like deworming and vaccinations, nutrition uh, can be provided and there's been good collaboration on that. We now need to broaden it.